Good morning guys. Happy Friday. Um, I know I haven't been on her for a long, long time. Life has been so, so crazy since having Leonard. Life with two boys is just, I don't know, um, I just had to adjust and yeah, the days were also crazy. Uh, he's turning two months on Sunday already. Crazy to think about it. Time has also been flying by. I finally managed to upload my birth vlog yesterday, even though I think I shot it three weeks ago, but then we came down with a stomach bug and then I had a cold and then William was home for a week. So yeah, every day something else that today I thought I vlog again. Um, it's the first really, really nice day. So it's supposed to be, I think like 15 degrees outside today. So like really a spring day and I'm so excited. I feel like already lighter inside and uh, I don't know it's supposed to be only one day so but still one day is all I need I felt a little how you call it like the winter depression um it was raining constantly and you couldn't really get out of the house and I don't know just being at home with kids uh, it's just not my thing I love to be outside and um yeah go to the lake or to the playground and do things so today I thought, because it's Friday and I have to pick up William after lunch, I thought it would be fun to go to the farm with him. In the morning he said he didn't want to go, but this can always change. So let's see when I pick him up what he will say. And yeah, Leo is still sleeping. <laughs> it's really weird, but he woke up around 6 because um, he always, he moves a lot now around in his little bed. So we have this little baby bay bed. Yeah, and then he sometimes like gets his arm out and then he wakes up because, you know, he's like, well, what's going on with my arm? Where is it? It's stuck. I can't get it out again. So he wasn't really hungry, but I nursed him back to sleep and now he has been sleeping and Roman was inside to wake him up. So usually we all take William to kindergarten because usually um, Leonard sleeps until like seven and then he wakes up and then he has to get nursed and then when it's so loud outside he doesn't go back to sleep so yeah but roman went inside he wanted to wake him up but <laughs> there was no chance he's so fast asleep so we decide to leave him and roman just takes william alone to kindergarten so i have a little quiet time right now until he wakes up again and i thought i could catch up with you guys so yeah, um, talking about sleep, your sleep has been very well so far, knocking on <laughs> my head uh, because I have don't have wood here right now, but he only wakes up like once um, around two and three and then he wakes up around seven again. It, besides when he gets his arm stuck, then he wakes up earlier like today. But yeah, it has been very nice. Um, I also really am proud of myself because I implemented a very nice evening routine with both of them. So with William, I always we always gave him a bath and then put him in his PJs. Um, I don't think you read a story when he was a baby. No, we didn't do that. But um, I nursed him to sleep and then he was asleep by 7 seven thirty. with leo i thought we would do the same routine but i didn't think about that i already have a kid and since we don't bathe william anymore at night we bathe him occasionally or he just takes a shower it wasn't really doable with like two kids because then we would have put william to bed and then it would have taken us another hour to put leonard to bed until like everything is done so now I do it like this. They brush teeth together. So I bought this little like finger toothbrush for Leonard that is massaging his gum. So we brush teeth together. Then both boys put their PJs on. We all do this in William's room. Then I read William a story and Leo is just, you know, laying there and listening <laughs> as well. And then William goes to bed and then I go over to Leo's room and I nurse him to sleep. And it works so well. We have both boys in bed by 7.30 latest. And this really gives us some time in the evening to either maybe eat some dinner or watch something and catch up. And yeah, I'm really glad that we found this routine for us. Throughout the day, I have to say it's a little difficult for me. I mostly have him in a carrier just because it's convenient when I have to do something around the house, you know, clean. And I don't have to be so quiet because he's very noise sensitive. 
So, but I'm really, I'm a little afraid that he will get used to only sleeping in the carrier throughout the day. So I think I have to start putting him more into his bed, but it's a little difficult because as soon as it's bright outside and there are noises, he's awake and it's sometimes very difficult to get him, yeah, back to sleep. And the carrier just, you know, I put him inside and I rock for a few minutes and then he's fast asleep and he sleeps the longest also. He sleeps like three sometimes four hours in a carrier and I can even sit down and he will sleep. So that's very, very nice. But yeah, let's see um, what I will do about that. Driving has been, uh, has been really annoying. So he doesn't like to drive at all since like three weeks, I think. In the beginning, he didn't care. He slept like everywhere. But right now, as soon as I put him in a car seat, he starts crying and then he cries the entire time. And it's, it doesn't matter if I like stop and nurse him and put him back, he will cry. So yeah, this is a little annoying, but I remember William was the same. He didn't stop crying in the car until we bought his reboarder. As soon as he was in a reboarder, he stopped crying and he loved it and he I know, could look outside. I think it's also this like, they don't see what's going on, you know, they're driving backwards. And I think it's a very scary thing for them to sit in this car seat. Uh, yeah, because now William is like a great driver. He will sing and look outside. He doesn't even need any toys or anything to be occupied. He just occupies himself and it's it's fine. So yeah, let's see. But I think we put William in a reboarder when he was like six months old. So <laughs> this will still take a little while. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I just let him cry most of the time because, you know, you have to drive places. But this is also like very nerve wracking, to be honest, to hear your child cry. And then also I feel so bad for William because he's just sitting next to it and... He's mostly quiet, but then he also like wants to talk or like sing a song or do whatever. And then I have to scream so loud. I barely understand him because Leonard is crying so loud. So yeah, that's very stressful. Car rides are very stressful right now. But besides that, it has been going very well. I really get the hang of taking care of both boys right now. I was so scared in the beginning, to be honest. I was so scared to be alone with both. But then when William was sick home, there was no other chance and it worked out very well, to be honest. And you just grow with the, you just, you just grow with it, I guess. Um, I really got used to it and now I handle it like a pro. I mostly feel like super mom, to be honest. And yeah, you just get used to it. But nevertheless, I sometimes get like very anxious about having kids and not that something happens to them, but that I'm constantly needed, you know? I can, I never feel like I, I can go somewhere. I'm like constantly needed. And, and then sometimes like William is very, very hard to handle. Um, I don't know if it's his character or it's just like still the terrible twos. It gets better or it has gotten better over the last few weeks. But still, sometimes he get like these, he throws these tantrums and then you can't really calm him down and he's all over the place and crying and I don't know what to do. And this really kind of overwhelms me sometimes, to be honest. I still, I don't know, even though he tur he's turning three in May, I should be used to it by then, but I'm still not used to it. And then he's sleeping so badly lately like he wakes up once or twice a night and he screams and he's sleeping i mean he's dreaming like when you go inside then he's not like realizing that you're there but it's yeah it's um this really gets to me to be honest and once nighttime hit i get so scared and so anxious and my heart is beating and I'm like, oh my gosh, another night, like how will it be? Even though the nights are great, there's nothing to complain about, but I'm just, I'm just afraid of it. I don't know. I don't know if you know this feeling, but it's, it's really weird. I never thought motherhood would be so hard on me, to be honest, even though then on other days it isn't hard, like I handle it like a pro, but Every day it's a challenge. I feel like every day I'm challenged again and I don't know what to expect, like how he will act and 
I always calm myself down by telling myself it will get better, they will grow up eventually and um, they won't need you as much anymore but still it's um, yeah I don't know I don't think every mother feels like this but some do and yeah comment below I would like to know like how if you're a mother like how is it how are you feeling about it like are you handling like a pro you don't care at all or are you also anxious and scared sometimes um, if you can do it so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do right now, I think, I'm not really hungry yet, but maybe I will make myself a matcha latte. I've been really into matcha lately. And um, yeah, then let's see when Leo wakes up. And um, I'm excited to have you along on this vlog today.
So Leo and I are just getting ready to pick up William and let's see if he wants to go to the farm with us. As you can see, Leonard is not so amused about sitting in the car seat again. But I have to take him with me, so yeah, let's see how this goes now. <laughs> at the farm will you excited yes. yes it's such a nice weather you want to drive the tractor oh no the four-wheeler huh drive the four-wheeler yes. yay <laughs> Bye-bye. we just arrived on the farm Leo fell asleep the last few meters and William was so excited to see daddy with the front loader um, yeah I left him in the car now so let's see how long he will sleep because usually he doesn't sleep in the uh, in the baby seat so yeah it's so nice today outside oh my gosh I love it I think it's like 16 degrees so cool and um, yeah take you along mommy has to walk Now then, let's go. So wet. Sit on it. Ha ha ha. Daddy and William are driving <laughs> the little tractor while you and I have to walk because there is not enough space on there. Look at all the trees they already planted. So cool. banana bread I scrolled the Lini Bites website I just love their vegan gluten sugar-free recipes as you already know when you're following me along and um, I found these what are they raspberry banana raspberry cupcakes um, I don't have raspberry right now but I have blueberries and I think I will just turn it into a banana blueberry cupcake recipe and it's really easy you only need a banana some gluten-free gluten-free flour mixture, some baking powder, coconut sugar, coconut oil, um, some plant-based milk, salt, and of course the strawberries, but in our case the blueberries.
How strong is Leo? Hmm? Where is my strong Leo? So strong, yeah! Good job! Good job, Pushing! Yay! Oh! Hello! Hello! How are you? Hello, Leonard! Can you say hello, Mommy? Hello, Mommy! Hello, Mommy! Hmm? Hello! Wichtig ist, dass euer Baby eine zuverlässige Begleitung durch euch als Bezugsperson erfährt, um sich an die Veränderung zu gewöhnen. Ja, es kann sehr anstrengend sein, aber das Baby darf nie allein gelassen werden, wenn es weint. Holt euch Hilfe, wenn ihr an eure Grenzen kommt. Diese zu erkennen ist wichtig. Sie zu wahren erfordert Entschlossenheit und Geduld. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I just finished... No, I'm not on. almost finished. Editing the latest vlog. And once again, this mic I have, which I actually like, didn't work. So it really messed up my recording I did after we went to the farm. Two weeks? No. Is it two weeks ago already? Oh my gosh, I think like time is flying by. It's really crazy. So anyways... Um, so now I thought I hop on here and give you a little detail what happened. So we went to the farm, but I didn't really vlog afterwards because it was just crazy. Um, William was tired and Leonard was constantly crying in the car. And we went to the, to the American diner afterwards because I promised William and he loved the chicken nuggets there. So we went, but we didn't spend um, a long time there because um, since William skipped his nap, he was very, very overtired. And then we went home and yeah, I think the weekend we didn't really do much. And then on Monday, that's when you see me last, um, I'm or I, told, I talked about that um, a friend from Munich was coming, also a friend from kindergarten. So from William's kindergarten, a mother was coming over and I was about to make some cupcakes. And that's why you see me making cupcakes, just to give you a little um, storyline what happened there. So I didn't really vlog much last week. Um, there was not really much going, no, there was a lot going on actually, but somehow because everything was so new, I didn't really manage to get at my camera. Also Leo throughout the day is not really sleeping that much. The only time he slept, was on Wednesday, exactly, yeah, Wednesday we went to this English music class and Leo slept from like 11 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. So I had to wake him because I have to pick up William by 3 p.m. Um, yeah, so that was a little crazy. Yesterday he didn't sleep, yeah, maybe like an hour or something, but not that much throughout the day. Um, but then he slept through the night again. So, I mean, I can't complain, to be honest. I'd rather have him sleep through the night than sleep throughout the day. So, um, if I could choose. Um, yeah, today is supposed to be a very warm day, like 14 degrees Celsius. And um, it's a short day for William at kindergarten. I will pick him up after lunch, then we come home. I put him down for a nap and then we decide to go to the strawberry farm. But I will end this vlog here because I think otherwise it's going to be too much all over the place. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. I know recently it's not really structured, but I promise it will get better. Also, I just started my yoga journey again, if you've seen on Instagram, and I'm so excited about it. I have to figure some stuff out, but I definitely want to record some yoga videos for youtube so definitely stay tuned for that please please hit the subscribe button also give it a thumbs up and i talk to you soon bye guys mm -hmm.